Good evening, podcast family. Welcome to Chats with Baba. Chats with Baba is brought to you by the Lighthouse for Academic and Cultural Excellence. The purpose is to inform, empower, and educate parents of young Black children. The information is good for all children, but my goal is to inform, empower, and educate Black uh, parents of Black children. Parents, you are the first and foremost teacher in the lives of your children. I want you to remember that. You are the first and foremost teacher in the lives of children. To inform you is to enable you to release the natural genius that's in your, in your children. Black children have untapped and undeveloped gifts. The quality of experience and exposure lays the foundation for life. So we wanna move from miseducation to, to education and strive for excellence. A little over a year and a half ago, I started a podcast that was virtually um, audio. And so moving forward, some of the feedback uh, has, has uh, said to me, move to YouTube. So these clips are going to be on YouTube. And I'm adding another dimension. And that is in my weekly podcast, I'm going to add something that says about nuggets about Africa. Why Africa? Our children need to know their history, their ancestry, and that the genius comes to them naturally. One of my late friends, uh, the renowned scholar, Asa G. Hilliard, was a world-class historian on Africa and Egypt. He also talked about the importance of the family. The family is important to the survival of any people because in families, we pass on from one generation to the next information about the history of the family. And that's critical. Our children need to know stories about the family uh, persons in the family, and sometimes it's uncomfortable, but they need to know the truth. So our nugget for today is about ancient Egypt. Ancient Egypt is one of the earliest and oldest civilizations to mankind, okay? Ancient Egypt is one of the earliest and oldest civilizations to mankind. And Egypt is located in the northeast corner of Africa. Egypt is in Africa. Nowhere else is in Africa. Egypt is over 5,000 years of age. Long before America ever existed, there was Africa, there was Egypt. It's important to know that in Africa, there are 55 countries as defined by the United Nations. Think about that, 55 countries in Africa. Africa is the world's second largest and second most populated continent. Not country, but the second largest and, and the second most populated continent. Africa has approximately 1.4 billion people. 1.4 billion people. In terms of populations, it's about five times the size of America. When you compare Africa to North America, Africa is much larger. Africa would easily hold, think about this now, geographically, Africa would easily hold China, India, and all of Europe combined. Africa is three times the size of America. Can, uh, can, can we show that map? Can we show that map of, of Africa and its size? If not, we'll come back to it another time. But it's important to understand the magnitude of Africa in terms of its size um, compared to America, much larger. So that's the nugget for today, a little bit about Africa. And when we, when we think about a nugget, we usually think about a precious piece of gold. So these are precious statements about, uh, about Africa. So here you can see the map of Africa and all of the countries in Africa. And you can see the various oceans 
on one side, you have the Atlantic Ocean. On another side, you have the Indian Ocean. What I'm sharing with you, parents, is information that's taught at the elementary school level. So the more aware that you are, the more informed that you are, uh, these are the things that you can also share with your children. And there's an abundance of information. So these nuggets will be something that I will share on a on a weekly basis in my podcast, Nuggets About Africa. Let, let, me, let me move on. Uh, one of the things that I think is critical, as I try to say in this uh, podcast, is to teach our children to appreciate learning, okay? If they have an appreciation for learning, the genius that is in them will naturally come forward, okay? And so as we work, as you, as you work with your children and talk with them, help them to develop this an appreciation for learning. Now, one of the things in today's podcast you can see behind me is, um, the word affirm and part of helping them to appreciate a love for learning is to affirm who they are as individuals. The affirmation of our children is to say things to them that will make them feel good about themselves. <laughs> Here you see a series of pictures of a mother reading to her child a mother holding her child, a mother embracing her child, all of these are things that speak to the unconditional love that mothers and fathers have for their children. You also see a, a family sitting around talking and in the conversation, the things that you can say to them again is to affirm who they are as individuals, to affirm who they are in terms of uh, their self-confidence to affirm who they are in terms of where they come from culturally. You see a mother assisting her child as they are roller skating. And, and she's helping the child uh, to uh, stand up. Again, this is affirmation of what they can do. You see, a, you see a family in the lower corner where they're sitting around enjoying dessert together. So all, all of this is to say that in the teaching our children to have an appreciation for learning is to have an appreciation for who they are as individuals. And in doing so, um, the natural genius that's in them comes forward. Now, parenting is a daunting task. Okay? Parenting is a, is a daunting task. I can speak from uh, from that perspective. I am not a grandfather. My 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 grandchildren are of college age, and I and I watch my daughter and her husband raise them, affirm them, and many of the things that we did as a parent when Jackie and I were raising them. We see she is teaching those things to her children. <laughs> Excuse me. The, the point is intergenerational connection from one family to the next, to the next, to the next is very important. That is, we want to carry on traditions. We want to carry on and sustain traditions. Remember early on, I said, we want to move from miseducation to education. Let me, let me uh, go back for a moment. When we talk about mathematics and science and medicine and technology, in the year 2022, if we understand our history, all of those things were back in Africa, back in Egypt, where the great scholars of the world went to Africa to study. All of this was uh, was going on in the uh, uh, Egyptian civilization. So it isn't new. You know, like I said, it's, it's, it's thousands of years old. So our children need to understand that. And in, and in knowing that and teaching that to them, they come to have an appreciation for math. They have an appreciation for science. They have an appreciation for technology. They have an appreciation for medicine. They have an appreciation for astronomy. All of these are nuggets as it relates to them developing an appreciation for learning. 
by doing so, you are instilling in them that which make what that which would make them feel good about themselves. And so that learning then becomes challenging and fun. So with these with these nuggets about Africa, um, is to make you aware, if you're not, of the history of what goes on in America just didn't start here. You know, it can be traced back to Africa thousands of years ago. So again, our, our, our task in this uh, YouTube clips is to inform you to bring forth that natural genius that's in our children. And the, and the task is to assist you, not to tell you how to raise your children, but to assist you. There are some things that successful parents do with respect to their children that enables them to, to, be, to develop a level of intelligence that will help to unlock that genius in them. So again, we had nuggets about Africa. The word for this week is, is affirm. That is to say things to your children. These are, uh, the affirmation is a statement of truth. I love you, child. You have genius. And the more they hear this, it helps to uh, ensure and stabilize them with respect to their self-concept, their self-esteem. And so when they're in situations that are challenging, they have uh, that intestinal fortitude to draw on. So with, with, with those nuggets, we will uh, bring this evening session uh, to a close and continue on on a weekly basis, uh, bringing you nuggets about Africa and uh, nuggets that will, that will help you to unlock that genius in your show. It's there. The genius is there. We, we just have to uh, uh, bring forward. So with that, this will wrap up our, our YouTube podcast for this week. So have a blessed day, a blessed week, and I look forward to chatting with you next week. Thank you now.